hey guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be going over how to clear up your low disk space now what disk space is is actually um you know the space you have on your computer when you download games when you download anything save pictures save videos do video editing and that can fill up surprisingly fast especially if you do what i do and make videos and all kinds of stuff like that so you want this cleaned out now i'm gonna quickly go ahead before you get confused having this filled up does not make your pc run slower until it gets too full now if this bar is red it's gonna slow your pc down if it's right outside of being red it's more than likely slowing your pc down now what i have here is not much taken up even if it was like halfway still not much is taken up but you still want that as clean as you can possibly get it because eventually it's gonna slow your pc down so you better just keep it clean now there's a few ways to go about this and i'm going to be talking about this app here today which i will quickly show how to download it uh right now so in the link in the description and it will also be pinned in the comment section it should take you to this website here oh it should take you to this website right here and this website is actually this is the page you should see click free download it'll pop up up here in your downloads where everything you download will pop up you open it you allow it to do whatever it needs to do it just allow it to run on your computer pretty much like every download you'll ever do on your computer it asks you the same questions and then once it's opened it'll look just like mine does now go to discovery and we're going to be talking about these two here now let's go ahead and start with the first one now the first one is probably one of it, I don't like this one as much as I do this one and I'll explain here in two seconds now they're both really good don't get me wrong and you know I'll explain why they're both good in their own ways. Now this cleans up your PC. Now I did a cleanup a few seconds ago, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a scan again for you guys. Once you open it, it'll look like this. Um, you can even set it to auto clean weekly, have dates for when it automatically just cleans out your PC. So you don't have to do this and go through the struggle of having to do it yourself. So there you go. Um, there's a few other settings in here that you can change like automatic updates and you know, all kinds of stuff like that. Now we're going to talk about cleanup now you could do a quick little scan it'll do a scan of everything that needs to be cleaned up and you'll see now i just did a cleanup but there's still a few more things that you can find now this right here is not a lot right once you see like gigabytes like junk cleanup 1.61 gigabytes that is a lot you know a lot of that could be cleaned and not only that if you scroll down there is a plug-in cleanup meaning you can actually pick that it cleans this stuff up right and um there's a few other things in here like it says built-in apps it's not checked off you can actually check it off if that's something you want as well right so we're gonna do this we hit clean it's gonna do a quick little scan it's gonna clean everything now this might take a few seconds because it does have to go through and check all the different files in your computer it doesn't take long at all just like that it's done and disk space freed it says how much is freed done you're good now last time i cleaned it was a little bit ago but i do this quite often so i highly recommend you clean up your pc because that will help quite a bit when it comes to cleaning out this drive now there's something more than just random stuff like this basically goes through and just finds random stuff that your pc doesn't use cleans it up now the one of the biggest things that takes up space on your drive other than videos and pictures right here's a bunch of videos and stuff that i have is when you have videos and pictures duplicated now that brings us right into our next one so i'm gonna go ahead and open this and actually what this does is it will go through and it will find duplicated or similar photos right and duplicated files and documents now i do not have anything duplicated now i factory reset my pc a little bit ago um for something i had to do scan whole computer now you have your drive here and you click scan now it's going to scan all the drives and no duplicates duplicates found that's okay you might have duplicates so it's still worth running for yourself now we're going to photos i know i don't have any duplicated photos either because i barely have any photos even on this computer and you hit start it'll do a quick little scan look for everything no similar photos were found meaning there's no duplicated photos on my computer so therefore i don't necessarily need to really um delete anything and if there was anything it would pop up it'll show you what it is everything like that get rid of it there now those are just two of the many features that this website well app what do you want to call it actually has um to offer now this has quite a few things um along the side of pc transfer transfer files and programs windows accounts and settings to a new pc um that's something that you can do through this it also has data recovery uh, it helps you find passwords if needed all kinds of stuff that you can ever do and it's actually trusted and vouched by many now as you can see here it has over 29.9 thousand reviews and it's pretty well known and i it's highly recommended um through many different things 
Matter of fact, just to even prove my point right here, 90% of their reviews out of 21,897 total reviews are actually a five star. And you can even read some of them if you'd like to, if you'd like to look into it a little bit. But coming from me as somebody that has used this and I've used other things with them as well, I do highly recommend this app here for many different things, not just cleaning out your PC, which is something you should really, really do. Now, here is another one that you can actually install. Now, I'm not about to demonstrate any of these because I actually don't need to do this myself. But if you're looking to just clean your PC completely or you want to get rid of it, sell it, whatever it is you want to do, give it to a friend, whatever. Um, this will actually, you know, as you see, wipe disk, you know, all kinds of different stuff, wipe free space, a whole bunch of different stuff, even file shredder. So if you have a file that you have a bunch of random stuff in, this will just completely get rid of it. And this is another thing called right here. It's uh, called Bitwiper that you can actually install to help you clean out your PC completely. If you don't want to just go through and factory reset it, it pretty much um works just the same it's just as good and here's file shredder down here as well uh i didn't feel the need to go over this one because it's you know what the exact same thing so this basically you know as the name is shreds files get rid of files now here we are with one of the last ones that you could do now if you're just looking to see what even is taking up space on your computer and you really just don't know what it is it's not duplicated pictures videos but you have a lot of space just being taken up we're here with space analyzer so you click analyze or go through windows see whatever and it'll show you what's using the most now program files which is actually epic games it's download like basically like my games and stuff like epic games obviously i install fortnite stuff like that uh windows apps you know everything that you know i kind of need on my computer is obviously what's gonna be taking up the most space um but you know there's quite a few other things now if it still didn't find anything you can click reanalyze if you like and there you go it'll show you from top most used down which here's your space up here most used and down now this is on my c drive you also, you also have the choice of what drive you want to do and you can go through it's you pick up here windows c is the only one i actually have and you can go through and see what is using up all your space now when you open this it'll, you can actually see what's using most of it mine says downloads videos and pictures is what's using up the second most amount of uh space on my computer which is actually kind of what i covered uh in the beginning is actually how to figure out if you have anything duplicated because like i said videos right which i do a lot of video editing and recording videos take up so much more space than you probably think um downloads obviously take up a lot of space and it's kind of just known and then pictures they can build up really quick and take up a lot of space as well so anything duplicated definitely want to get rid of so this is a quick way to find out what's actually causing most of your space to be gone now me it is actually the games so the games is what's causing all my space to be taken up so i you know can't really do anything about that because i need those games but you know you can see everything and as you see fortnite right here is actually what's taking up the most space in my epic games file multiverse is second um because obviously multiverse is smaller than fortnite right windows apps you can see which minecraft which is something i have installed it's another game right which is why it's going to take up a lot of space right here so you can say hey oh i have minecraft i didn't even know i had it installed go find minecraft uninstall it boom space cleared up just like that so this is very useful this is probably one of the more more useful ones other than the other one i covered which is actually this duplicated files um, this is probably one of the more useful ones because you can actually see exactly what's causing all this space to be taken up on your computer so this is very good and especially if you have like a laptop that will work very well for you guys because i know laptops actually don't come with crazy amount of space um if you have like a stock laptop and you haven't upgraded it and you just bought it they don't really come with crazy amount of space so this is really good for you guys and i hope this does help you figure out what is actually causing your computer to be slowed down and then i hope this actually helps you make your pc run faster as well because that can help with free space also you know too much duplicated stuff isn't good anyways quick summary of actually how you know these can play off each other and the, probably the more efficient way to really use this so if if i was new to this and i was to load up and i'm like yeah my pc's full of storage i really don't know what's causing me to have no storage i would probably go to space analyzer now i covered this this is one of the last things i covered i have all five things that i did go over so give this a second to open here we are so i'd be like all right so space analyzer i would go ahead and analyze my c drive which is let's just say it's full which it's not right now but let's just say it was right i'm like all right and i can see here the most used up thing right now is program files boom epic games fortnite i can see oh, okay so my games nothing i can do about that so you know let's let's 
you know, check something out. Now we have, okay, what's next? Users. I'm like, what is, what is even users? Let me go in here, open this app data. Oh, that makes sense. So videos, pictures, everything like that. So now I know that videos and pictures are causing up a lot of space to be taken up. So I'll go through and clean up all these extra pictures and videos and everything like that, that I don't need. Now, a quick way to easily do that is the duplicated files cleaner. So for the duplicated photos, I actually don't have any duplicated photos. Therefore, I can't do anything. But the way duplicated photos are actually made is when you factor reset a PC and you have all your files come back, they'll actually show up as like a white file that you can't get rid of. So you go in here and you find duplicated or similar photos and it gets rid of them quick and easy. Now, I actually struggled a while ago on how to even get rid of this and I figured out how uh, eventually and uh the way i figured that out was i just factory reset my pc again and they were gone so yeah that is the hard way of doing it and it takes way longer especially if you don't know about this so now you get this it deletes files that are duplicated and it deletes photos that are duplicated as well this is extremely useful and this is my it's one of my favorites on here next um this is you know quite you know self-explanatory clean genius scans the pc cleans everything up we talked about this it's just a quick little uh what's it called i recommend doing um cleaning it yourself i don't recommend setting up an auto clean weekly um just because you know i'm all about delay and everything like that and having something running in the background will ultimately cause delay so i just think you know having it you know cleaned up yourself easy as long as you can do it weekly but if you do want weekly on it is a very good feature to have and you have it there for whenever you know whatever and you have it um notifying me when junk files are more than five gigs too so all kinds of stuff like that so there you go that is very good to use as well now, Bitwiper, uh, I'm not even gonna open it up again. It's kind of pointless, but basically you can permanently erase data and clean up disk drives for selling, donating, or recycling. Yes, I did just read that directly off the description of it, but hey, you know, that's exactly what it does. Perfect, perfect description. So there you go. That is the five apps that I've covered. And you know, file shredder, that's, I don't think I even need to cover that again. Just sh shreds files. Anyways, there you go. Really useful. This website app program, Whatever you like calling it, I personally like calling it an app, is very useful. And that is why I'm recommending it to all of you. And I made a dedicated English, dedicated video on it just for you guys. So if this helps you out, make sure you, you know, yeah. That is the end of this video. If this video did help you out at all, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, check me out for more videos if you'd like to. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.